Hello, this is Torior and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis for as Catholic Ottomans. I have had a very long break from recording, um, but yeah, I am back in action. Um, in between the episodes, I have increased autonomy in a couple of provinces to avoid unrest, and not to show it on video, because it's a little bit boring. And now we can move on, we can continue sieging Persia. And I think I will finally succumb to the temptation of taking land that is not directly connected to our capital, so that we can court for cheaper. I might not, but I think I will. Alright, let's unpause. A bunch of pop-ups, yeah, a bunch of pop-ups are coming. Because I just loaded the game. Papal State no longer wants military access. Papal State that I made an elector and that is not voting for me. Let's improve relations with them. Okay then. Uh, Lithuania, do you like me? Because uh, you might remember we got a personal union over them. And yes, they do. How bad is Maya? Very bad. Uh, we really need to get rid of him. Alright then. Let's continue. Also, what is my focus? It is diplomatic. Yeah, I really need to go back to admin. 1655? Oh, crap. Oh, well, we'll finish up the idea group and then we'll change it. All right, I'm pausing. Let's do this. On the Battle of Baghdad. Okay, keeping our troops together so they don't get sniped. This shouldn't be... Oh, they have very little troops, very few troops. We should be fine, whatever we do. Hmm. I suppose I could just do some splitting and conquer some uh, non-fort territory while we're at it. Yeah, seems like a good idea. Let's... Let's uh, siege some more stuff in the meantime. Okay, we do have a ton of papal influence. Do I need to spend it on anything? We do have a lot of legitimacy. Our stability is plus two, which is fine. Manpower is shit, but that is to be expected, since I am losing it constantly due to attrition. I suppose I could manage that better. Hmm, let's detach a siege and move you forward. Yeah, right, this army does... An okay, attacking the mountains. But um, against a vastly inferior force, so no worries there. Okay, we are being attacked. And you do not have a leader. We have to change it very quickly. The king. I don't want the king to be the leader. Let's uh, hire a general. It's cost. It's going to cost us some, but it will help you defend. Also, yeah, have some reinforcements. Okay, they might be necessary. We do have a superior mil military, so we should be fine. Let's see the battle. Yeah, we'll be fine. I mean, they do have a lot more morale. But we will be fine because our reinforcements are coming. Oh, did I did I speak too soon? Will they not come in time? Um, no, no, I think they will. My tactics are much better. That's what is swinging the battle in our favor. Also, lots of cannons. Okay, then I am still getting back into the game because, believe it or not, it has been almost a month since I last played it. Uh, everything you have seen up until this point was pre-recorded before my surgery and now I'm back and I'm recording again right enough of that let's move you guys to siege some other places okay since this siege is done I should probably move you forward a little bit like here maybe and you guys go siege this province where is your army running to? Kazin, Gilan all right, so we will have a concentrated force up there. Let's pause this. Um, should I attack them? Possibly. If I abandon this siege, I could maybe wipe their army. Um, I don't think it will work. Also, this is a mountainous terrain. No, let's not. Let's just be mindful of the fact that they are close. I think I will just send this unit up there to maintain order. Let's pause. And I can convert some places. Sure, why not? 
Yes, I know I have unsupported forts. I might want to be destroying them, actually. We might need them a little bit later. Okay, you don't have a job. Let's move you... Well, this place seems to be dangerous, since there is an army right next to them. Well, let's risk it. It's mountains right here, so maybe we can get the reinforcements in time. I was at speed too, but um, I'm still figuring out, figuring out what is going on. Focus against Georgia. Oh, Georgia conquered... Yeah, right. Could conquer Georgia, although this has increased coin cost. Also, our next war against Poland is coming up. Okay, Austria is doing their bit. Wonderful. Good to know. Mm, this piece of succession Georgia and Münster, not interesting. I suppose I could help you. Yeah. Some reinforcements, not that you need them. I will keep a huge army like that here because uh, it's sort of exposed. Mm. Oh, this is a very small fort, it's just our capital. I will leave a token force in advance a little bit further. And this fleet, can it beat their fleet? Maybe, but let's not try it. Okay, our relations in Europe Scandinavia, friend, Great Britain. Not enemy, which is sufficient, I suppose. Castile, friend. Portugal, sort of friend. Aragon, friend. France, bitter enemy. Poland, mm, enemy. Muscovy, not enemy, really. Hmm. We only have France and. Oh, Persia did not rival us back. I thought they would. Hmm. Obviously, forgot. Yes, I know I have too many military leaders. We sort of need them. And Würzburg has unlawful territory. Which one is Würzburg? Will you... Oh, they will give it back, really? What have they annexed? I could enforce religious unity, but then all the reformed people will hate me. Who is reformed here? Hmm, maybe enforcing is not such a bad idea. Thuringia. Grand Electorate. Enforce religious unity. Hmm. I suppose I could do all that. I could do that through war, though. For example, hmm. Okay, the penalty to Protestants. Seems to have expired mm, for enforcing religious unity. How about reformed? Well, no, there's nothing here. So I should actually be enforcing it, I think. Okay, this diplomat will be back shortly. I might try doing all those things. Also, free cities. Yeah, Catholic Empire. So maybe it's time to enforce our religion. Um, oh, Brabant is Catholic and not voting for me. I mean, all the electors have to be Catholic, so... Yeah, but... Hmm. Ah, we'll think about it. When we have the free diplomat, let's continue our war for now. And I will go up to speed 3. A little bit more confident. Conversion successful. Wonderful. Free papal points. Not that I need them for anything. If we are close to capping, I will just take stability. I do love the effect they have on uh, legitimacy, if you are lacking legitimacy. Uh, right. Wait a minute. Um, all of you guys are actually free to go wherever. So let's take all of you. Send a small army, just a token force everywhere in this vicinity. I suppose I could attack them, but... Um, I would have to concentrate forces first, because they have a good general, and I don't have a general here. Let's just go siege their forts. Yeah. Mm, this army should be sufficient. Can I go further into their territory? I actually can. Oh. Didn't think I could. All right, and this force will stay in... 
think go without avoiding while avoiding this place. Probably not. All right, I will try attacking this. We'll probably lose because you know mountains and they have a superior force there. But I do hope that Austria will come and aid this attack. If it doesn't, oh well. Or I could just concentrate the armies. What's going on down here? Uh, nothing bad. All right, let's continue. Uh, succession, nothing new. Okay, two diplomats free. So let's have a closer look at the empire. Could I actually be enforcing religious unity and creating more city-states? I think I have the maximum number of city-states now, don't I? Mm. Oh, you hate me. Grand free city status. Oh, right, I need imperial authority to enforce religious unity. Also, it gives a penalty. Right, uh, it's all coming back to me now. So, technically, it's not such a good thing to enforce religious unity. Since, um, you know, relations and stuff. Okay, but let's let's get city states. For example, here. Become a free city. Can I get more? Who else would accept it? Oh, you would. Okay, give me a diplomat. That will give us a little bit more authority. And we want a siege in the meantime. Yeah, I'll be back. No, no, let's just do our thing here. Mm, can you move further into their territory? Not really. Go to BAM. Okay, let's kill their armies and... Alright, you can go to BAM. Didn't I already send an army there? I think I did, but... Okay, we can recall it later. Who else could become a free city? They would not accept because they hate me. What about you? You like me, but you have two provinces. Mm. Oh, you already are a free city. Gallery, grand free city status. Uh, you don't like me enough. Okay, then. Even though it's a friendly relationship. Hmm, they're not scared enough. Seems like nobody else will accept. Just clicking randomly, maybe I'll find something. Oh, Scandinavia took Lubeck. When did you take Lubeck? Must have missed that. I will be wanting that back, although a union could go a long way. Hmm, it's been a lot of territory. Would you give me... It would become... Will it become a part of somebody else, or...? Okay, who was that again? Pittsburgh. It would go to... Okay, it would become a free state. Yes, I will actually demand unlawful territory from you. Uh, okay, what's that? A thought of heresy. Do I care for cardinals? I suppose I do. Oh no, I shouldn't have done that because um, Pope is my friend now. Von Hanover. But will not accept free city status. Oh well, at least we have one more state in the Empire now. Okay, I think that concludes it. Nobody else will accept. Maybe you? That should give us a little bit more authority monthly. Just a tiny bit. Okay, I will conquer Hungary next, I think. But first, let's deal with Persia. Also, Scandinavia is huge. If we can not be rivals, and possibly, possibly get a union over them, that would be powerful. Although we already do have two unions, which might be enough. If we can revoke the privilege, then we can just steam through them, feeding them to our vassals, which would be wonderful. Okay, let's continue with the Persian War. How is the capital going? I should probably send some of the troops over there. Just leave them in the capital so they can siege it quicker. 
Yeah, let's do that. Because it's going to give me some war score, some serious war score. Uh, right. Can I go up to speed 4? Probably not yet. Yeah, let's hold off a little while. How are we doing on unrest? Shy something. Mm, it's, it's all money separatists, so it will be around here. I'm probably converting. Oh, okay, that's the one that's held by somebody else. Never mind then, never mind then. And we took the capital, which means I can now move those guys mm, nowhere. Seems I just have to take the regular, regular provinces, so I have something to do. Stun being okay, that means I can probably move through here. Where's the army that I was sending to waste their time? Go up there. Persia wants peace. No, thank you, not yet. I want, although, let's see what we could do. Mm. I would like to take as much from Sind as possible, but that would take us some time to actually get there. That would be 47% over extension. That would be 60% of extension. If I want to take that, I would have to sign a separate peace with them, then core stuff, then sign a peace treaty with Persia. That could be too much. Because we'd have to wait. Can I make you my protectorate? How are you? Uh, tech group. Oh, Western. <laughs> You're actually better in technologically than I am. Never mind then. Mm, I think I'll just annex you. But for that, we need to cut through the Persian lands. And from Persia itself, what will I take from Persia itself? I do not want to have land connection now, I have decided. Let's leave them this one province so we don't have a land connection. This way, we will have uh, super quick, well, super quick, super cheap coring. Because we'll get, unless they change it again, because we will get... Um, Overseas. What is that? Um, overseas not connected. Mm, bonus. To current cost, I think. Maybe I'm maybe I'm getting it wrong. So if we don't get a direct land connection, it should work the way I said it would. Mm, so let's say we just take uh, nice. So not to get too much border gore. Just a nice area around here for exactly 100%. Overextension. Yes, this will be perfect. Well, they would accept now. I suppose I could sign a separate white piece with Sind and then attack them later. Um, let's clear the offer. Oh, they don't want a white piece. Hmm. Unfortunate. Although well, from there we could attack into Baluchistan or Baluchistan, which should be more than sufficient. Although the land in Sind is not that bad, and we could move into India from there. Okay, let me review the PSD one more time. If we just um, take all snake-like stuff. Getting more borders from where to attack. No, it looks horrible. Just make sure to have a border with uh, this place, Balochistan, Baluchistan. And connect this together. Well, that's too expensive. Let's get to 100% war score, like that. Yeah, I think I'll just send a peace deal to make this quick. Then we can conquer them again. Although, how many forts will I take? So I would prefer to take forts. That will be three forts altogether, which is fine. Although, if I could take Yazd... Oh, I'm taking their capital. That's not a good idea. Because it costs more. War score. And I don't need it. So, where are the forts? Here's a fort, I think. And here's one. Mm. I think I'll actually be able to take more land if we do it that way. Um, one, two, three, four forts, and maybe up there as well. Mm. Oh, let's avoid border gore. 100% war score, a nice patch of land. Just make sure there is no land connection mm. to Mokistan and Kwasistan, yeah. 
no land connection, cheaper cores. Unless I'm mistaken, but I think it does do it. Mm, I would like this province. It's 99% of extension only. 100 is much more efficient. That would make me border... Oh, that's a wasteland province. At least you can go through there if you want to. I think I'll actually send a peace deal because... Um, that would humiliate them. I think I will... Okay, let's change it. Let's change the deal. Let's humiliate them. It's actually a very good thing to do. All right, we don't have 100% war score yet. All right, let's keep fighting. Maybe I can take Sind after all, because humiliation gives us monarch points, and we kind of need them. Choose with Ethiopia. Ethiopia still lives. Oh, they do. All right, we'll annex them soon. And hmm, aggressive expansion impact reduction. I do need points for the peace deal, so no thank you. Not yet. Here, take some more land. Is anyone going to Merv? Yes. So we can just leave them be. For now. I suppose attacking Hungary and Poland next could be a good idea, because uh, Hungary is allied with Bohemia, and if we fight them, we can enforce religious unity. Oh, Pope doesn't like me anymore. Unfortunate. But we are improving relations, so it will be fine. I do have a free diplomat. I think I should send him to Great Britain, just to make sure we're friendly. Oh, no legal heir. Really? Hello, Great Britain. We will get a royal marriage. Yeah, I know I have many relations, but uh, let's just hunt for those relationships. It's interesting. I like gambling for personal unions. We already got two, which is a pretty good... Uh, result from all we were doing. Royal marriage. And that would get you my dynasty. Let's hope it does. Decline of spice trade. All right. Doesn't really, doesn't really matter that much. All right. So Persia. I would like to end this war because it's slightly problematic, but you don't seem to want to give me stuff. Men exceed the wars, of course they do. Uh, what do you want to give me? Mm, just some stuff, not enough. Okay, what if I left one, two? Okay, you want a much worse peace deal than I expected. I should actually go after Sand after all. Can we move through yet? No. Oh, we need to go here. Forget the automatic transport. Did you actually move the ships? Where are my ships? No, no, they're fine. Okay, we lost the general, the one that is leading this attacking army. Although we have mostly decimated their forces, now we just need to get cut through the forts. So he will be fine, and so will he. And there's one more fort there, let's send some people over. Alright then. Oh, did we lose? Oh, we lost a statesman, that's unfortunate. And there's a new one. Oh, a woman. But a statesman is a priority. We are sticking with statesmen. Right. Do you have any forts here? No. So I just need to take, what, two provinces from you? But to get there, we need to cut through this place. Would you give me military access so I can kill your enemy? But can I infiltration, papal influence or prestige? Papal influence, please. Prestige is maxed. Mm. Do I have a free army to do that? Yes, I do. Okay, Balu Baluchistan, Baluchistan, would you give me access? Yes. Okay. Now you guys can go and take Sind. Just like that. This will make this war a little bit shorter. I think I'll just take Sind land and stay at war with Persia. Core this quickly. 
and then sign a peace treaty with them. This hurting, um, it is hurting my autonomy reduction slightly because of the big, huge mistake that happened earlier. That means I don't get autonomy reduction because we're dodgy. I still think this is a this is a mistake in the game that you get demoted when you join the empire, or that you cannot join and increase your rank when you are the emperor. Mostly the second thing. The first thing is debatable, but not being able to become at least a kingdom when you are the emperor of the HRE is, I think, a mistake. All right, state propaganda. Not much to worry about here. All right, it's time to end the episode. I hope you did enjoy it. I do have the, the points to get the next tech level. Maybe we should do that because increase over time. Uh, for now, thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next episode. See ya!